interesting. Oh, just wait. Our antenna's fallen down. VM will pop it up again. But I have spotted a big flock of birds. I'm just going to get VM into a spot where we can see them. Now, this is the most numerous bird in the world. Flocks of over 4 million in a single flock have been recorded. And there seem to be a couple of hundred at least. But rising around here. And it is, of course, a very tiny bird called the red-billed quelia. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I've been in places in northern Botswana, a place called Lake Ngami, where they actually darken out the sun. Now, the biggest flock I've seen is, uh, is about a million or a million and a half of these birds. And uh, they are seed eaters. And, uh, of course, that extra rain at Cheetah Plains has probably uh, attracted them because they do have multiple... Well, they don't feed in the same areas every year. Look at that. Oh, maybe more than a few hundred. I love how they, they, they swarm together. Oh, lovely camera work, VM. Oh, they're going to come closer to us? Or are they going away from us? I can't see yet. They've gone behind a tree. Ah, there they are. Now, there's a couple of flocks. That's the biggest flock. That is the biggest flock that we've I've seen uh, in my time here. That is so cool. It's still coming. Well, we'll try to get a bit closer. There's a big, there's a smaller flock just off to our right here. Let's see. Well, when I say smaller, of course, we can't always see because a lot of them, well, in the grass. That's so cool! It's how amazing how they sort of like, like a wave that they roll. Now those are, can be very, very problematic for people growing crops, particularly um, soil. Now, there have been some very interesting uh, eradication, eradication programs of quilias in certain parts of Africa. None have succeeded. They, and, and a lot of times, it seems if, if the population takes a knot, they breed even faster. So, um, there was a stage where they were using napalm on the roosting trees of quilias. But fortunately, that didn't last too long. Okay, oh, here they go out of the tree. And they're up ahead of us now. Probably close to a thousand in this particular little flock. And you can see where they get their names. Uh, the males have got their breeding plumage on, those little red faces. I'm going to try to sneak a little bit closer. This is so cool. I, mean, I haven't seen quilia, big quilia flocks in ages. It's just like all the bushes, you just suddenly see them all. And you think you've got the main group there and then just more come from all around you. Maybe we'll get a straggler and we can see that the red face nicely. There's another flock coming in from behind us. So definitely after all the, the grass seeds. And they literally, the, the bushes are littered with them. Now, I'm always, when we find big flocks of quila, you must always look out for predatory birds. Uh, Vim, just, just give me a, wait, just go back to the left slightly. A uh, little bit there, a little bit more to the left, and zoom. A little bit to the right. Ah, lion grass. Look like a lion. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, keep quiet, sisticulars. The quilias are not after your insects, they're after the grass.
Xranga is wondering if a bird flu has made it to Africa. I, I think I heard of a few cases in places like Nigeria. Now, uh, avian flu or bird flu uh, is quite an interesting one. So it, it generally comes not from wild flocks of birds like the quilias we were following, but it comes from farming birds. So where you have massive amounts of, of birds in a very close proximity, uh, that's where the, the, those avian flus will, will, will mutate and, and, and make the jump across to human beings. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people don't know. What do you see in VM? Oh, VM has seen... Right hand branch? Oh, it's a dove, I think. Oh, he's a bit forward. Vim thinks he's seen another cool bird. But so, uh, a lot of people won't realize that the, the, the common cold uh, is actually a. Oh, it's a hornbill. He's flown off. Is actually originally uh, an avian flu. And when the common cold first mutated, uh, it managed to kill millions of people. Uh, and, and the common or the common cold flu, all of those were originally avian flus that have mutated. Now, so there's a very interesting thing with a lot of a lot of uh, these avian flus, mad cow disease, um, swine flu, uh, and all of that is that because uh, the, the the animals that are being farmed are in such close proximity to the people that those those viruses are able to mutate much quicker than they would say out in in in, a, in the bush like this.